Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to import a Power Key file into Power BI. So let's start. So just to begin with, what is a Power Key file? An Apache Power Key is an open source column oriented data file format designed for efficient data storage and retrieval. So it's being used uh, specifically in case of Spark. Uh, it, it stores data in a columnar format and it's highly compressed, so it's easier to do in-memory calculations as well. So let's start. I've got, let, I've got the Power BI desktop here with me and I'm on the Home tab and I'll click on Get Data and then I'll click on More because I can't see the Power Key option. So I click on More and then it throws out a pop-up with get data. And if I click on file on the left, I can see Power Key as one of the options. So I'll just go there and click connect. And now it's asking me for a URL, but I'm in, in this case, I want to point to a local file system. So I've already created the context. So I've got data sitting on my C drive data Power Key. So I'll just show you the data. So I've got it here on my C drive data and Power Key. So I want to copy this. So I'll, I'll just, I've got this, user data one. So I just want the first file. So I'll paste that under URL and hit OK. And you can see it's uh, showing me the data. So I'll, I'll just click on transform data instead of load and it will open the Power Query Editor for me. And it I, as you can see here, so if I go on, on the Power Query Editor, I go on the View button and click on advanced editor you can see it's getting the power key document and this is the source so i'll just hit done and you can see it's got uh, quite a lot of rows here so i'll just hit go back to the home and hit close and apply and it will uh, load the power key file into the power bi desktop for me and you can see now that this data set is available to me and it has got around, let's just scroll to the bottom. So it's got 973 rows in all. So in this video, we've learned how to get the data uh, from a Power Key file. And if the Power Key file is sitting on your local uh, system, this is the file format or this is the string that you need to use. So I will just um, increase the font size so you can see. So all I've got here is file colon and then I've got three slashes C data power key and then the file name so just to recap in this video we learned how to import power key file which is sitting on your local system into power bi desktop I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video please do, do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.